Hello everyone, welcome back to iExamD. I hope your preparation is going really well. So we are back again in the series of 50 days, 50 questions. I hope you have watched the previous videos. I keep on saying in each and every video. If you haven't yet done so, please go and watch it. We are here on day number 29 in the series. So watch the previous 28 uh, videos. Right, we are almost midway in this series. Right, we have covered more than, in fact, um, half of the uh, videos in the series already. So please watch them. Get your concepts cleared. Let's start with day twenty-nine question. The question is that you have to calculate the predicted value of y when x is hundred. Pretty straightforward question, but a lengthy one. You are given the values of x and y, and based on these values, you have to calculate that what would be the predicted value of y when x is 100. The options are also given to you here. So this is a straightforward question, just that it will require some time in calculation. If you know how to do it, just pause the video right away and solve it yourself. Otherwise, let's if you don't know, let's proceed with along with me. So see, you're given values of x and y, right? x is 34, 108, 64, 88, 99, 51. These values are given to you. Y values are 5, 17, 11, 8, 14 and 5. Okay. Now you have to calculate the predicted, predicted value of Y when X is 100. So this statement tells you that your dependent variable is Y whereas your independent variable is X. Right. Now, by this statement, I know what it is. Now, I need the regression equation. I need y is equal to alpha plus beta x. So once I have this regression equation, what kind of form this regression equation takes, I can plug in the value of x here in the equation to find the value of y. This is the step. But for this, I need to know the value of alpha and I need to know the value of beta, right? So now we have to calculate this. Now from the OLS technique, you know that you minimize the sum of squares of the regression. You get this formula for uh, beta, which is what? Covariance between x and y divided by variance of x, right? Or in other words, which is summation xi yi upon summation xi square, right? Either which way. So if you know this, then you can then find out the alpha value also. So, first you will have to find out what is x bar here. So, when you take the sum of the series, you have 444, here the sum is 60. Right? This is the total I am talking about. So, mean is going to be 444 divided by 6. Here, n is 6. So, you have 74. Right? And here the mean is going to be 10, 60 divided by 6. Now x minus x bar that you need to calculate which is going to be, so x bar is your 74. So it's subtract from each of these uh, values you will get minus 40, 34, minus 10, 14, 25 and minus 23. Similarly you find out y minus y bar you will get minus 5, 7, 1, minus 2, 4 and minus 5, right? These are the values that you are going to get. Now you find out the product of these two. X, uh, find out the product of x minus x bar into y minus y bar. These two columns, you would multiply them. So you will get 200, 238, minus 10 here, minus 28 and 100. 150, right? Then you do also need to find out x minus x bar whole square for the denominator, right? The variance. So you do this, you take this column and take the square. Okay, so you have 1600, you have 1156, right? Uh, then 100, 196 and 625, 5. 29 and uh, this, these are the values that you will get right now to find the value of beta you need summation this is going to be summation x minus x bar times y minus y bar right upon summation 
x minus x bar whole square. This will give you the value of beta, right? So you have take the sum of these columns. This is 650 when you sum it over, and this is 4206. So your beta is going to be what? It's going to be 615 divided by 4206. So you will get 0 0.146 as your beta value. Okay. So now I have my beta to be equal to 0 0.146. Now let's proceed. <coughs> so beta is 0 0.146. Now I need in the regression equation, it is y is equal to alpha plus beta x. Right. So I need the value of alpha now. How will I get the value of alpha? Alpha is going to be, see, we also know that the regression equation satisfies uh, that it passes through the mean value. So it will also satisfy this equation. Y bar is equal to alpha plus beta x bar. Right. So you know the value of beta. It is 0.146. Right. What was x bar? X bar we calculated earlier which was 74 in the last slide. And alpha we don't know. We need to find out. And y bar was 10. So you solve this equation and get the value of alpha. So alpha is going to be minus 0 0.82 when I solve this equation. Now my regression equation becomes y is equal to minus 0 0.82 plus 0.146x. This is my regression equation. Now I have to find what is the predicted value of y when x is 100. So plug in the value of x uh, here to be equal to 100. So 0.82 plus 0.146 times 100. This is going to be 0.82 minus plus 14.6. Right. So this is going to be 13.7. This is your answer. So the right option is option B. Okay. I hope you've understood this question. Right. Keep preparing, make use of these resources and uh, also this uh, mock test and uh, watch the playlist. All of these resources are very useful for your examination. You can also call us on this number if you have any queries. Thank you.